guys, we are at the Austrian wines. Today we are tasting some wines from Austria and I want to introduce you to a very nice grape called Gruna Vettina. So, today, this is the wine we're tasting. It's Kamali. I'll introduce you to the lady behind the wine. She's Kenyan, so Kenyan-Austrian. My name is Elizabeth Hartig and I come from Kenya. I was born and grew up in Kenya. I've been living in Austria for the last 13 years. And I came to it, my first knowing know-how of wine was in Austria, and I started drinking South American wine. It was very interesting because I just fell in love with Morphe, and uh, you know, and just being in the wine, and then you know, you want to try something different, and I. By coincidence, that I discovered that Austria also produces good, very good wine. Mm -hmm. So I started getting to know the wineries, visiting wi wineries because in Austria you can just make a call to go to the wineries and taste their wines. So this is how I started. And I got to know the wineries, and two years ago, three years ago, me and my friend uh, started a company called Wine to Africa. Mm -hmm. And with Wine to Africa, we exported wine to Uganda and to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And one year ago, me and now my business partners parted with, and after parting with, that's when Emani Wine was born. Okay. So I've been working on this, what we have in the bottle now, the vintage 2019. I've been working for it for the whole year, from when the flower started until now we have the wine in the bottle. So this has been very exciting. So this is it's basically new and it's been launched. Yes, I'm, I'm launching it now. In Provine, okay. and I know you said that um, you know that you know you know what it, what fits the African market. So yeah. how the um, and, and you know, to how the grape matures, the same thing. to give it the wines for a couple of long. Well, so what, what is the African taste in terms of wine? Well, um, the African taste is not yet right as in people are getting to know wine and if you get it to, to know wine you really don't want to start with the wine that is full acidity uh, because uh, you want to start softer and a gruna vetina is known for its acidity but you can work if you work on the on the grapes when you're still in in the in the vineyards you can reduce that the amount of acidity so i was really specifically looking for a gruna vetina that has acidity but at the same time it's soft on your tongue. Yeah, it's not very. It's, it doesn't cut through. Yeah. And and surprisingly, on that case, you know, I still have the green of it in a typical taste. The pepper, yeah. you know, so can feel the the white pepper. Acidity and sweetness. Yeah. 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 Well, good. I mean, I didn't even important. get the sweetness. I got more acidity. Yeah, but it, it was is, just very, it's very, it was just very fresh. Though. It is. Yeah. And it has acidity. It's yeah. fresh. Yeah. It's yeah. very so, clean tasting. Mm -hmm. a lot of potential in the wine business. Uh, well, you have to do you have to do your homework. You have to learn about wines. I went to the wine academy in Austria. I'm still in the in school, so I do courses about wine. And if you get that, if you get to know wine, learn about wine, the world is open for you. And it, it's really really interesting. It's a really interesting branch to work. Um, what are your final words, maybe, to somebody who would like to do something like? you or get into the wine industry maybe uh, if you have the interest on wine do your homework start with knowing how to hold the wine glass what are the right temperatures to drink wine and then just enjoy it just enjoy it. start with enjoying it yeah. once you start enjoying it you, it's there's no stop yeah you, you learn every day and it's a learn it's a long learning process I'm still learning and I enjoy it Wana, what do you think about this wine? Have you had a new appreciation for this wine? Um, I mean, it's very, it's definitely like a, a, it's a, it's a fresh, clean um, tasting wine. Mm. I feel like 
as she did say, it's, it's, if you're not a typical wine drinker, it's something that you would enjoy. Um, and it's easy, it's a very easy wine as well. There's some, I actually feel a, also a creaminess to it. Yeah, yeah. There's a slight, slight creaminess to it as well. It seems like the Gruna Betlina is really a hit among many people. It's really a nice wine and uh, we got introduced to this wine by Elizabeth and yeah, so if you come across a Gruna Betlina, obviously all they won't taste the same but I feel like you should dive into that grape because we are so used to the normal wine grapes, you know, your, uh, your white wine grapes like uh, Sauvignon Blanc you know your Chenin Blanc but it's always nice to come across different grape varieties especially one that is uh, specific to Austria so that's a very interesting story now we are tasting the Zweigal still by Imali so still uh, part of our wine really nice for you know your your meat and everything it's a really nice red so I've never also tasted Zweigal that grape but yeah, it's nice to discover new grapes. I think this whole provide I'm just discovering new mm -hmm. grapes. And it's so special in our region because the wine is growing on schist, so you have a very nice um, minerality, spiciness in the wine, very, very cool um, freshness. So the wine is never too overloaded, too full. It's always very refreshing, so it's a wine very easy to, to drink. Interesting to me how the soil really influences mm -hmm. how a wine will taste all the time. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's blau Frankish. Blau Frankish. For example, our winery we're doing a lot of export all of the world, all over the world, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter to which country you're traveling. Everybody knows about the high quality and the high um, reputation of the the Austrian wines, and I think that makes the wine special. They really show where they are coming from because we have so much um, uh, unique varieties like Blaufränkisch, like Grüner Verdina, like Zweigelt. Um, and they taste like they taste because they are grown in, in, in Austria. For example, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, you can grow it in, in South Africa, you can grow it in, uh, in California, in uh, Australia. It almost tastes the same, but um, the style of the wines in Austria, it's so unique, it's so special. You can't find it at any other place at, um, on the world. So I would say that's one of the the biggest points of the, the Austrian wine that it's so special and so unique. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video. Leave all your comments below. Bye, -bye. Bye guys.